This is the GNOME desktop, customized to look like Windows 11. In this video, I'll go step by step to show you exactly how I got my GNOME desktop to look exactly like this, whether you're on Ubuntu, Fedora, or any distribution that you've installed GNOME desktop on. I am not a Windows user in any way. I haven't owned a computer with Windows on it ever. I absolutely hate Windows, but I know I'll get a lot of comments, just like on my Mac version of this video, saying, why would you ever make Linux look like Windows? It's horrible. Why would you ever do that? And the reason is for all the Windows users who switched to Linux, and they just want a similar look and feel to make it feel like home for a while until they get used to it. Um, it's also just a great tutorial on learning about the customizability of the GNOME desktop and everything like that. So with all of that out of the way, let's dive right into it. So first let's open the terminal, and in here we will type sudo apt install git. I already have it installed. Um, and then we can install gnome shell extensions, gnome shell extension preferences, and then gnome tweaks. I already have those as well. Um, but if you don't, you'll just have to install those. Now, we are going to exit the terminal, and now we can go to the extension manager right here. And in here, we will go to the bottom and enable user themes. This will allow us to change our theme to be more like Windows 11. So let's open a web browser and type and paste this link. I will put the link in the description of the video so that you can get to it easily. Here, we will just click on code and then copy the code here. Now we'll open a terminal and type git clone and then paste what, what you just copied from there. Now we will cd into the new directory that was just created called win11 icon theme. We'll be able to delete this folder after we install the icon theme. Now we will type dot slash install dot sh to install the icon theme. We can now cd out of this directory if, if we'd like. And now we will go to the uh, GNOME tweaks application that we've installed before uh, with the previous commands. And we'll go to appearance and change our icon theme to win11, which is what we just installed. So now we have our icons here. The icon theme changes all the icons. Um, and for example, uh, in like your file manager for folders and stuff like that. Now we will install the Fluent GTK theme. I'll have this link in the description as well. We will click code, copy that, and then go to our terminal and type git clone and then paste that in there. To paste, I usually do com uh, control shift V. The reason that I have to do control shift V is because control V does something different in the terminal. Now we will see the into fluent GTK theme and we will do the installs dot uh, sh so dot slash install dot sh. That has installed the GTK theme. So now we have to go to GNOME Tweaks. If you'll notice, it's not available here yet, and that's because you have to restart GNOME Tweaks for the changes to take effect. So now in Applications, we will be able to choose Fluent Light. And then for Shell, we will also click Fluent Light as well. Right now it looks kind of ugly, but we will, um, of course, we will fix that as we are going along. Now we will put our wallpaper, our Windows 11 wallpaper. Um, by the way, I'll, I'll give both light and dark wallpapers as well as um, in the GNOME Tweaks app. We have both a light and dark themes, so if you like fluent dark, then you'll change that to that, and that'll make the Windows uh, 11 dark theme. But I'm going to do light theme f for, th for this, so I'll have both of these wallpaper links in the description. So we're going to click download original, and then show in folder. And once you find it in your file manager, you can set it as your wallpaper, however you'd like to set it. I just right-click and click set as wallpaper. You can now delete this since it moved it to the wallpapers directory.
Now we will get a Windows 11 looking font, so click on the font link in the description, click code, copy the code, we'll go to the terminal, and go back to our home directory and just do git clone, and then paste in that uh, link. Now we will cd us, uh, let's see if it, yeah, there, so uh, sigo ui linux, um, ls, and then we'll just do dot slash install dot sh. Checking for internet connection, and once it says, do you want to install, you type Y and then click enter. You'll have to wait a few seconds, and then it will install the font for you. Now you can go to GNOME Tweaks, make sure you're restarted of course, and go to fonts, go to d interface text and search for Sigo UI Lite and select this. So now we have a Windows 11 font. Now we will close out of GNOME Tweaks. We can also close out of our web browser if we want. And let's go to the extension manager. Here we can click browse and then search for dash to panel. Make sure you have this one which is by Charles G99. Click install here and then click install. This gave us a little bit more Windows 11 looking um, shelf here at the bottom. By the way, the desktop icons can look a little bit strange sometimes, especially since they are really big. So if you'd like to uh, change them or remove them, you can scroll all the way to the bottom in the installed section. And then you can either disable desktop icons or you can just make them smaller by clicking this and then clicking tiny or small or whatever, however you want them to look. I typically put my home over here, so let me just do that. Okay, so uh, once we have dashed a panel, we're going to change some settings in it to make it look more like Windows 11. Here we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and click task, make sure you can find taskbar in here and click monitor center. That'll make the icons in the middle. Then we will disable the show applications button, which is this over here. And here we will set left box to monitor center as well. Uh, nothing changed yet, but that's because we will add the, uh, the little start menu over here. That'll also go in the center. Now we will move date menu to the bottom right before desktop button with the down button here so, uh, so that it moves this in, uh, to, to the right. Now we will go to the style tab up here and make sure the app icon margin is zero. Of course, you can change this to your liking, so maybe you want it to be a little bit more spaced out, however you'd like, but I'm setting mine to zero for this video. Now change the app icon padding to six. You can see the number over here, six, so um, we'll just move it to six, and that makes our icons look a little bit more uh, smaller, but to fit our dock at the bottom. And then we will also click uh, dashes for both of these two. Now we will go to behavior and click disable overview on startup. What this does is it just disables uh, this over here, the, this overview, because when you start up your system it automatically sets it like this and if you don't want that you'll just click disable overview on startup since uh, Windows 11 doesn't even have that. Now we will go to fine tune and move both font sizes to 16. And then you'll set all the paddings in here to 4. And we are done for now for the settings in our dash to panel. Now we will click browse and install arc menu. Make sure you get this one. Click install. And here we'll go to installed. And, well I don't know why I turned my extensions off. Um, enable arc menu and click the settings gear. So now once you have this open, you will click on the menu tab, click menu layout, go to modern menu layouts, scroll down to 11 and click, uh, click it and select it. These are just layouts for when we click on this. Now we will go to menu visual appearance and set our menu height to 750. Of course you can change anything in this video to your liking. The left panel width will be 175 and the right panel width will stay at 205. 
we will go in the override menu location and click uh, bottom centered because if you don't do this then your menu appears like this um, in the middle of the icon but you want it in the middle of the uh, of the taskbar so we're going to do bottom centered so that it'll appear in the middle of your screen down here you can uh, go to override icon sizes and uh, make the applications large if you'd like of course this is just your personal preference now we will get out of this section and click menu button here we will change the padding to 5 and we will set the size to 33 this is uh, the perfect size that I found for the icon that we're going to use so we're going to click browse and click custom icon and then we will go to wherever you've saved the image that I have put in the description the media fire link will be in the description for this image so we will select this image here and then it just set this to the Windows 11 start menu icon just like that here we'll go back to menu and click fine tune and uh, if you'd like you can just disable alphabetize all programs category um, this is just the behavior of Windows 11 you don't have to do this of course now we can exit out of our um, out of our arc menu here and now we'll click browse here we will search for blur my shell which we will use to blur this uh, dock down here because that's how because that's how it is in Windows 11 make sure you get this one right here and click install now go back to installed and click on blur my shell in the settings here we will go to panel which is this down here and you can see that it already blurred some stuff but the fonts and stuff are a little bit messed up with the colors so we'll turn off override background we will click customize properties and then change the sigma to 10 um, 10 works pretty well for a little light mode uh, if you notice that your dark mode looks a little bit too transparent then just move this up and we'll set the brightness to 1 now we're gonna go into browse and search for date menu formatter Th what this will do is it'll change your date menu over here to the uh, Windows 11 style so in here you'll paste this string that I have put in the description so just cut, delete all of this and put the new thing in here this has just changed it to uh, to this so what this does is it's month month slash day day slash year year so um, 2 slash 4 slash 23 um, and then new line which is this this uh, slash n here and then hour minute and then the a.m. or p.m. of course if you live somewhere where they where this the standard is uh, these two are swapped of course just change those now we'll go to extension manager and click browse and search for media controls you'll get this one by Cliff Niff. go back to installed and click on media controls settings here we'll go to visibility we'll turn off title track name and player controls do not turn off the middle ones and we will do colored player icon as on here we'll go to position and we will select right we'll go to other here and click uh, for left click you'll do open track information menu and then everything else can be none so what this is is if we open Spotify here and I play a song here um, in here we can just see all our info and skip and go back and stuff like that and if you don't want this arrow here I assume most people won't want it we'll go to visibility and then click uh, we'll turn off sources menu so now it looks like how it would in Windows 11 now we will go to GNOME Tweaks one last time and we'll go to Appearance and Cursor and then DMZ White so this is just our white cursor of course if you uh, find a different cursor that you'd like you can just download that and uh, install it but uh, I'm perfectly fine with this cursor because it looks pretty good to me so um, that is pretty much it for the light mode if you want to change it to dark mode we'll go to the tweaks app go to appearance go to fluent dark the shell will also be fluent dark and then you'll download the the dark wallpaper and set it as your wallpaper and there we have a dark Windows 11 theme
Okay. Lastly, since we don't need those files that we uh, that we got when we cloned the repository, just remove any extra folders that you don't need in your home directory, like the font one and the icon theme and the shell theme like that. So this is uh, so far what I have to make uh, Ubuntu or GNOME 42 look like Windows 11. Um, there's always stuff that I can improve on, so I might eventually make a part two to make it look even more like it. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.